today I want to talk to you all about effective and efficiency in training. Okay, a lot of guys are out here doing training that they may think that training is efficient, all right, but they're not crossing over to effectiveness, right? You want to mesh the two together because you can be as efficient as you want to, but if it's not effective training, it's kind of defeats the purpose and vice versa. You can be effective if you want to, but it's not efficient and defeats the purpose. So, case in point, so say I can reload really fast and draw my firearm really fast, which is really efficient, right? But if I'm not hitting a target, am I being effective or I'm not putting myself, or I'm not practicing proper trigger squeeze or sight alignment, which are the, the most important parts of shooting, right? Sight alignment and trigger control, they're the most uh, vital parts of shooting. So if I'm not applying those with that, that training or that drill I'm doing, am I really being effective? I may be inefficient by getting the gun up really quick, reloading really fast and all that stuff, but if I'm not getting on my target, um, I'm not, I'm defeating the purpose. Or you have guys out here running drills and they're moving around and getting their heart rate up, which is fine because you want to get that heart rate up, you want to induce that stress in yourself, but are they getting rounds on target and recording that data so they can look at it and say, this is what I'm doing when my heart rate gets up. This, am, am I using my, my cadence drill properly? Am I manipulating my trigger properly and getting that right trigger control and that great, uh, breath control and hold control? when my heart rate gets up or and I reach that intensity level and how do I do that? So I'm gonna do a drill um, to kind of show you, one, how to get your heart rate up to and uh, start working that effective that, that efficiency and that effective that why my heart rate's up. Okay, so the drill is so gonna have nine rounds, you got three, 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 three round magazines, okay? And we're gonna uh, kind of run kind of like a suicide drill um, to get the heart rate up, but we still gotta maintain Effective on the, on the target, okay? Um, so, basically, if you're doing this drill with someone else, you can, on the buzzer, when you do your first run, you can have them call out a number for you. Um, or when you get back up to the line, I'll show you the line here in a second. Um, but the first one, you're going to run the suicide, and each time you come back to the firing line, which I'll show you in a minute, you're going to shoot one round at one of these. Just for simplicity and for the drill, I'm going to shoot the 10, the 9, and the 8, okay? So, um, that first round, you put one round in each, one round, and one round, then after you're done, you're going to come back, you're going to shoot two more rounds here, two more rounds here, two more rounds here, for a total of each of these, okay? You have three three-round magazines, um, so you have to reload. On that first one, you have to shoot them in order. So my first order would be 10, 9, 8, okay, for the one round. But when I'm done and I get back to the line, I'm going to shoot three more rounds, one, two, three, any order I want, reload, one, two, three, to end the drill, okay? I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see. shoot one round. I'm going to run to the second cone. I'm going to come back. I'm going to shoot one round at the nine. I'm going to run to this last cone. Uh, come back and shoot one round at the eight. I'm going to do that. When I get that last round to eight, I'm going to reload three round, uh, my, to my next three round magazine and I'm going to shoot the sequence again. 10, 9, 8. Reload. 10, 9, 8. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to target and get some actual feedback you know a lot of times guys are running around and moving from berry which is fine okay but they're shooting steel or they're shooting they're shooting paper but they're not going up in the recorded data steel is i love shooting steel you get that instant feedback but a lot of time you don't see exactly where you're hitting a target especially if you don't get get within range where you can see okay um and go up there so a lot of guys that hear the ting 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 or whatever they're planking up the target and they feel like in effect that they might be hitting the shoulder of the target or something like that. Um, but again, don't get me wrong, steel, shooting steel is my favorite way to shoot because it's instant feedback and you do a lot of good training on it. But I like to shoot on paper sometimes just so I can make sure I'm getting all those fundamentals in um, and I put everything together. So remember, efficiency and effectiveness. So the efficiency is how quick I change my magazine. Effective is I'm actually hitting the targets, okay? Um, and using the, the lane to kind of build that that induced stress on myself, get my heart rate up, so it messes up my breathing, it messes up my concentration. Well, it should, but if, if I focus it, it, everything should be in line. So we're gonna run the drill and right. see how it works. So again, I don't have a camera person, so I hope you can hear me and see me. But we're gonna start on the line on the buzzer. 
I'm going to run down to the 25-yard uh, line, come back up, shoot my one round to 10, then I'm going to run back uh, about halfway, shoot my round at the 9, halfway again, shoot my round to 8. Once I go once I go black on ammo, I'm going to reload and shoot each of those. After that, I'll turn the camera so you can see the target so we can see where my rounds impact to see if my fundamentals hold up. All right, so here we go. Twenty-four fifty-one. Dropped the timer, but it still was recording time. efficiency in the training. One more time, this time I'm going to go for the one, two, and three, just kind of, you know, up the uh, intensity a little bit for myself. I'll do the one, two, three. Let me show you real quick. Where I'm going for. slower that time it was 38 but heart rate's going up but smaller target but I hit every one of them right man I need to run more huh, windy but take this drill obviously the bigger targets it was almost a 10 second difference right um, but by me having to really slow myself down and focus, I still had to control my breathing, I still had to control my whole group, that's not a bad shot. And moving the time, but it gives me a good gauge of what I can build upon and make sure I'm working all those fundamentals into the drill, okay? Not just run the drill. Get some feedback, some recordable data, all right? Changing the tone, changing the intensity for myself, actually get myself out of my comfort zone and get the effects on target. Now, had it been the hit, of course, I would have hit every one of them. But we want to make sure we're actually pushing ourselves to that next level. That's how we get better, all right? Repetition, repetition, repetition. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blame not being ready and pulling my headset down for my slow running, too. So y'all don't worry about that, all right? But the next time, stand by with the defense. 